my role and with I'm Worth More is basically just to, you know, hopefully give people avenues to look after their mental health and ways to deal with their adversity. The thing that triggered my mental health battle uh, was at the end of my first year as an AFL footballer. I was 19, I was in the off season, I had a run in uh, with the law, I was in a cab and um, had an altercation with a taxi driver. North Melbourne footballer Trent DeMond has today gone on trial charged over the alleged robbery and assault of an Adelaide taxi driver. DeMond denies any wrongdoing, instead claiming it was the driver who assaulted him. Having my court case dragged through the media was, was tough and you know not too many details from the case can be revealed. So yeah, it was a really, really large emotional roller coaster. I felt like you know, my career was going to end. I let my family down, let myself down, all the hard work I'd done to get in the position of life I was at the moment. But at the end of the day, I knew that what was said about me wasn't true. But certainly, I had some really, really big low points in my life there through that two and a half years. An explosive day in court for the trial of AFL rising star Trent Dumont. Taxi security pictures played to the jury. The video shows the pair laughing and singing in the taxi. It doesn't show the cabbie being robbed or allegedly assaulted. The DPP dropped the charges, prompting a scathing attack by the judge. In 2016, around my 21st birthday, it was the hardest time of my life, that period. That's when I was at my lowest. And things were just, you know, piling up. Sometimes I still struggle to speak about it, but I had some times, yeah, where I was, I was really flat. Um, couldn't see light at the end of the tunnel. I caught off all 21st celebrations. I closed myself off to, to everyone. In those times, I, I, did, I did think about potentially what it would be like if if I wasn't around anymore, would I be doing everyone a favour? Um, but I, I'd never, never put it into action. But I definitely, definitely had thoughts about, um, you know, potentially suicide. Fortunately for me, got some terrific people in my life, and lots of them. My mum and my sisters and uh, my best mate had organised a surprise 21st that moment there when I realised <laughs> everyone that has a lot of love for me in that room, uh, it was a big weight off my shoulders. It gave me a little bit of breathing room. I started looking into getting help. I started jumping in with club psychs. And from there, I've just slowly built up my work in the mental space. Uh, mindfulness is probably the biggest part of my mental health strategies that I use day to day. Simply, like, it just gets you thinking about all the things that are worth living for. It gets you thinking out of your own head, out of your own little bubble. These things do happen to people. People are not alone. Reaching out and asking for help, it, it's the probably the first step. You know, we're starting to normalise the conversation around mental health. The more people are open or the more people can open up and normalise that, uh, we're going to have a completely better life for everyone, a more mentally healthy community. and. I think we're going to be much more productive.